This video will be about arithmetic series. An arithmetic series takes the sum of terms of an arithmetic sequence. So let's say we have an arithmetic sequence like 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16. One smart way that we could add these together is to pair them off. We have 1 in the front and 16 at the end. And if we add those two together, then we end up with 17. Then we take the next number after 1 and the number right before 16. And we add those two together. That also gives us 17. And again, as you can guess, if we take 7 and 10 and add those together, we again get 17. And in general, if you want to add up any of the terms of an arithmetic sequence, you can pair them up in such a way like this, and then your series, or the sum of them, is just whatever this constant number is times the number of pairs. In this case, we have three pairs of numbers, so our sum is equal to 17 times 3, or 51. We can use this method to develop a formula for the sum of an arithmetic series. So let's say that our first number is a, and then we have some numbers in between, and then our last number is b. Then our formula, s, equals a plus b times n over 2 n over 2 represents the number of pairs. N there is another way to write this formula. We have s equals first term plus the last term times the number of terms over 2. But remember from the last lesson that our formula for any of the terms in the sequence is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 times the difference. That means that we can replace b then we can replace our expression for b in the formula for the sum and that gives us a plus a plus n minus 1 d all times n over 2, which becomes 2a plus n minus 1 times d, all times n over 2. There is something called sigma notation, which lets us write a series in a very compact way. So remember our series from our example earlier. We had 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16. Now we can say that 1 corresponds to n equals 1, 4 corresponds to n equals 2, and all the way down so that 16 corresponds to n equals 6. Then remember that our formula, a of n for these, is equal to a of 1, which is 1, plus n minus 1 times the common difference, which is 3, or 3n minus 2. So this series in sigma notation, we would have a sigma sign, n equals, we're going from 1 to 6, so we would write 1 and a 6 up above the sigma sign, and then you would write the formula for a of n. So in this case, it's n equals 1 to 6, 3n minus 2. In general, if we have anything in sigma notation where we have a variable, let's say in this case i, starting at constant and ending at a different constant with a formula f of i, then what this means is to take f of c1 plus f of c1 plus 1 plus and 
Add everything all the way until you get to F of seat 2.